In this lecture, we will discuss about the intersection of two ascending order link list. For understanding the intersection of two ascending order link list, I will suggest you to watch my previous three videos, wherein I have discussed about the ascending order link list, merging of two ascending order link list, and union of two ascending order link list. Uh, so uh, the intersection of the two ascending order link list means we will have some of the common elements in these two link lists. And only those two, those common elements will be added in the final link list. So suppose we have been given two ascending order link lists. First link list contains 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And the second link list contains 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, and 29 information. Now we will be comparing this uh, uh, information of P node with Q node, wherein P is actually pointing to the first node in the first link list. And Q is pointing to the first node in the second link list. And if uh, P is smaller than Q, we will just increment Q. If Q is smaller than P, so we will just increment Q. If P is smaller than Q, then P will be incremented. But uh, uh, if the elements are having, if P and Q informations are same, then only we will be adding that information to the final link list. Such that here we have the information 10, which are common in both the link lists. So that will be added in the final link list. Otherwise, they will not be added. So since we have added this information 10, P is also in, P is incremented as well as Q is also incremented. Now again, if we compare P and Q, Q is smaller than P. So Q is incremented to point at the next node. And then when we compare P and Q, 20 are equal. Both, of both are having the same information. So they are added in the final link list. Now Q is incremented and P is incremented also in this case. Now P and Q are compared and Q information is less than the P1, so Q is incremented. Now again if we compare P and Q, Q is smaller and P is uh, uh, greater, so Q is incremented. Again if we compare Q and P, Q is smaller than P, so Q is incremented and after this Q becomes dull. Q was earlier at the last node, so once we have given, uh, given an increment to Q, it means Q points to the next of Q then Q becomes null. And when Q becomes null, even though we have some of the nodes remaining in the first link list, we will end up the procedure because intersection means finding out the common elements. And common elements are possible only if the two link list nodes are comparable. Now suppose this is the, uh, this was the program that we have discussed for the union of the two link lists. Let us just convert this to intersection. So just copy it, copy the entire code of the union, paste it here, and make very small changes here. The function is intersection. The information, uh, the address of the first link list node, address of the second link list is passed here. Considering third link list as list three, which is initially null, will not contain any elements initially. P points at the first node of the first link list, Q points at the first node of the second link list. And by the time P is not null and Q is not null, means both of them are comparable. So if both of them are comparable and both are equal, then only we are going to add the information in the final link list. P and Q both are incremented to point to the next node. But if P information is less than the Q node, we will not add this information in the final link list. Although we will be incrementing this to point at the next node, but we are not going to add that information. Similarly, if Q information is less than the P information, we are just incrementing Q to point at the next node. Let us suppose after the comparison, one of the link lists ends and another link list contains some of the nodes. So since comparison of uh, these two link list nodes are not possible, because we are finding out the uh, intersection and only the common elements will be there in the intersection link list. So this loop, this loop has, to, has, has not to be there. And similarly, this loop is not required there. Finally, we will be uh, returning this link list. So we have created two link lists. One is this one. Another one is this one. We have traversed the link list one, then traversed link list two. And then finally, we have called the intersection function. Let's call the intersection function. 
passing the address of linklist1 and linklist2 and it is returning the linklist uh, link final linklist um, address of the first node we are accepting that in start3 and finally we are traversing the start so you can see that this is the first linklist and then this is the th second linklist and final answer is 10 and 20 which is actually the common nodes between these two, these two linklists. Thank you.